All things working together for good for you is the pinnacle of greatness. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is Holy Ghost God, God, God in the earth, the earth today. today. And you walk with Him Holy by Ghost saying God words. My name is Andrew Hemstraught. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. We are building a society of Holy Ghost worshipers. Well, what is a Holy Ghost worshiper? Someone who worships the Holy Ghost specifically somebody who uses the words I worship you Holy Ghost and then of course speaking in agreement with his word which has the value of the thing said I'm not trying to make it complicated in fact the opposite I'm trying to make it as simple as possible someone who uses the words I worship you Holy Ghost and not everyone does meaning there's whole groups of people that don't do that that don't use those words but people who do people who do enter into a room of Holy Ghost worship and become Holy Ghost worshipers now years ago I was pastoring a church in Old Orchard Beach Maine and then up into Portland Maine and this question in dealing with people began to bother me why does everyone put everything off until they get to heaven they put healing off till heaven I'll be healed when I get to heaven prosperity they put it off till heaven we'll just deal with it here and now with the lack and the poverty mm. one day in the sweet by and by when the chariot swings low enough it really bothered me so I would spend time praying specifically praying in other tongues and I would go for walks usually at night so nobody could see me walking down the road talking yes. seemingly to myself like a crazy person but I would go for walks and I would pray about this and I pray in the spirit about it well one day as I was walking I could tell you exact the exact location as I was walking and praying in the spirit praying in other tongues an angel blew in my ear and said these words it's because that's where their Lord is which was an answer to the question I'd been praying about and seeking God for the answer for second Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 6 therefore we are always confident you should always be confident we are always confident knowing that whilst we are at home in the body we are absent from the Lord and we're talking specifically about Jesus right are you in your body right now yes you are in your body right now if you're in your body right now you're absent from the Lord mm -hmm. verse 7 4 we walk by faith and not by sight we are confident I say and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord so if you leave your body let's say somebody dies they are absent from their body mm -hmm. and they are present with the Lord if you're in your body you are absent from Jesus because he's in heaven when you leave your body you go to heaven and you are with Jesus mm -hmm. do you get this mm -hmm. and so when that angel said to me that's because that's where their Lord is that's why everyone has this hope of when they get to heaven they will get all the things that they believe they're supposed to get mm -hmm. which would include healing and prosperity and youth renewal and all the good stuff all the good stuff but they put it off till they get to heaven second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away 
see they were veiled but then when they turned to the Lord the veil was taken away mm -hmm. now the Lord is that spirit mm -hmm. what spirit the Holy Ghost the one Jesus sent to be with you in the earth and the, when the veil's taken away you will understand this that he's the one that's with you Jesus sent another comforter to be with you his name is the Holy Ghost he is that spirit verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is or where the Spirit is Lord there is Liberty what kind of Liberty do you think all the good stuff all the things that people put off till heaven because that's where their Lord is but he says now the Lord is that spirit therefore we have access to this Liberty by the Spirit being Lord to all the good things all the good stuff which would be healing youth renewal prosperity all things working together for good for you mm -hmm. angelic help I could go on and on all of it all of it so after more time still pastoring the churches the same angel spoke to me use these words I worship you Holy Ghost use these words I worship you Holy Ghost now if I were to use the words what do you suppose that would mean I would speak them I would say them I would begin to use them in my worship of God I worship you Holy Ghost and so I began to do it I was not disobedient to the heavenly vision I began to use the words I worship you Holy Ghost and that set me on a trajectory of where I am today as a Holy Ghost worshiper walking with God the Spirit Lord in the earth by speaking in agreement with his word Amen. Acts chapter 24 verse 14 but this I confess look I'm confessing more things mm -hmm. this I confess unto thee that after the way this is the way after the way which they call heresy so worship I the God of my fathers believing all things which were written in the law and in the prophets I worship God the Holy Ghost and I still believe all the things I believe all the things and lots of times better than you do people would try to say that what I do in worshiping the Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost is some kind of heresy and they would say ah you don't believe this ah you don't believe that and I say ah yes I do mm -hmm. you are wrong I believe all the things believing all things which are written in the law and in the prophets are you still here you know and I don't preach on these things all the time because I have a specific message my message is about the Holy Ghost being God in the earth today and you should walk with him by saying words I'm a sent one with that message mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean I don't believe all the other things in fact I've preached on them all I believe that Jesus was born of a virgin you got a problem with that some people do but I believe it I believe Jesus lived a sinless life meaning he lived on earth he was born of a virgin came into the earth and lived a sinless life and then died for your sins according to the scriptures and by his stripes you were healed is it okay to believe these things yes. is this heresy no. then he rose from the dead on the third day and then ascended in front of 500 believers mm -hmm. and went up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God the Father and then shall return do you understand this now if he shall return where is he here he's still there and shall shall is future tense shall return mm -hmm. I believe these things I say these things I preach these things Acts chapter 2 and verse 32 and this Jesus hath God raised up 
whereof we all are witnesses verse 33 therefore being by the right hand of God exalted where is Jesus being he be right there that's being being by the right hand of God exalted and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost he hath shed forth this which you now see and hear where's Jesus right now at the right hand of the Father where's the Father with Jesus and where's the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is here in the earth he's the only part of the Godhead in the earth today so I believe all of those things about Jesus and I could go on there are other things I believe but that should be enough shouldn't it mm -hmm. for you to qualify me as someone who believes what you say you believe mm -hmm. I believe all of those things but also this that the Holy Ghost is the only part of the Godhead in the earth today he the Holy Ghost is God I worship you Holy Ghost and here is what separates you from me unless of course you do I'm a Holy Ghost worshiper how did I get here mm -hmm. believing all of those things but I believe this that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today in fact that one verse it says this Jesus hath God raised up mm -hmm. who raised up Jesus the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead it would be the spirit the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. raised Jesus from the dead here it says he's God this Jesus hath God raised up and so the Holy Ghost is God is he in the earth yes and who do you walk with you you walk with the Holy Ghost now if he is God shouldn't you worship God what if you say oh, I worship God should you say oh, I worship God you should say that maybe not like that but you should say it but that is what differentiates me from you who don't worship him John chapter 4 verse 24 says God is a spirit and they say they they, they that worship him so here we have God he's a spirit who would that be the Holy Ghost here it says and they that worship him he's a him so he's a person the they that part would identify people that worship God the Spirit you have a group of people the they that that worship him God the Spirit which would indicate a group of people that don't you have they that do and they that don't it's a distinction between two groups of people I used to be a they that didn't but then I became part of the they that do and how did I become part of the they that do I began using the words I worship you Holy Ghost and I entered into a room of Holy Ghost worship that I wasn't in before this should be so clear to people who do begin worshiping him something changes something happens you enter into a new a new place a new space a new society of Holy Ghost worshipers and so I began to worship him and worship him more and I would use those words and I would preach those words and I would use the words and I would preach the words I worship you Holy Ghost and as I began to progress and enter fully say fully, fully fully into that room I swear there are people that have like one foot in the door this is what it's like they have one foot in the door okay 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 I I worship you Holy Ghost and I'm gonna do everything else I used to do mm -hmm. but I did that Holy Ghost worship thing but I'm gonna still keep juggling all of my other all of my other whatever they are theological balls and I know who you are when you do that so I began to worship him and in that room as I was in that room 
I came to the real realization I was surrounded by a multitude of angels in this room the room of Holy Ghost worship I'm in there and there's angels in there what do you suppose they do you suppose they worship him yeah well I'm called to bring you in here with me with these angels into this room enter into my space my room my house my spiritual house and you can expect the benefits thereof Psalms 112 verse 3 wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness remains forever where shall this wealth and riches be in his house in his space in his room enter into my room enter into my space enter into my house enter into my society we are building a society of Holy Ghost worshipers society is a group this is just straight definition from Webster's a group of people distinguished from others by common beliefs actions or professions we profess something other people don't even though other people would say that the Holy Ghost yes he's God they would say yes the Holy Ghost is he's actually in the earth but they don't say I worship you Holy Ghost a group of people distinguished from others distinguished from others by common beliefs actions professions standards of living having clearly marked identity can you see it more clearly now and the Holy Ghost would say to you I desire to give you a place of permanence a permanent placement where where do you suppose you'll find this in that room of Holy Ghost worship you shall find a permanent placement taking you beyond where you are now get this straight this takes you beyond where you are now well, I like where I am well don't get used to it you are going beyond this takes you beyond and puts you in a permanent say permanent, permanent. placement establishes you in the greater say the greater, the greater. youth renewal is greater than healing because it restores you to before the sickness happened to before the decay happened youth renewal is greater youth renewal is part of a permanent placement wealth is greater than just having your needs met is having your needs met good mm -hmm. oh yes anyone who has not had their needs met knows how great it is to have their needs met but you know what's greater than that wealth the wealth of God God gives me power to get wealth what if I put that in my mouth what is the value of Deuteronomy 8 18 in someone's mouth the value of what it said God giving them power to get wealth get it youth renewal is greater than healing wealth is greater than your needs being met a greater society people who live in the greater society the Holy Ghost society are you getting this are you a society person greater society establishing you in it someone who has their youth renewed someone who has wealth working for them someone who worships the Holy Ghost and has his word in their mouth Hebrews chapter 11 verse 14 and they that say such things look we have people that are saying things they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country or a kingdom or a society 
they're declaring plainly that they seek it they're going there verse 16 but now they desire a better country say a better. a better i would even say a greater that is in heavenly wherefore god is not ashamed to be called their god for he hath prepared for them a city now if the holy ghost is god and he is and we are talking about him and we are now they desire a better a greater city country society that is in heavenly wherefore god the holy ghost is not ashamed to be called their god and they're not ashamed to call him their god and they're not ashamed to open their mouth and say i worship you holy ghost and confess his word this i confess and if you look back to verse 10 same chapter hebrews chapter 11 verse 10 is talking about abraham who for he looked for a city which has foundations whose builder and maker is god god who god the holy ghost a society that god the holy ghost is building and making where is he doing it when you die and go to heaven no no this is why we started out this way it's now it's here and now he's in you now you are his temple romans chapter 8 and verse 28 says and we know that all things work together for good all things work together for good is that good yes how many things all the things everything in the earth every atom every molecule every angel everything working together for good for you right mm -hmm. to them that love god god who god the holy ghost the one that you walk with in the earth and worship I worship you Holy Ghost I love you Holy Ghost and all things work together for good for me all things working together for good for you is the pinnacle of greatness get it working I looked up this word work together and the Greek word is sunagios of course I'm not pronouncing that right right but we get it we get the word synergy from it all things working together so when god says all things are working together for good for you means everything together is greater are you here mm -hmm. it's greater it's the pinnacle of success it's the pinnacle of where you can go with this and who's this for it is for them that love god and call according to his purpose god who the holy ghost you love the holy ghost and you call according to his purpose well all things working together are angels part of all things yes would it be good to have them working for you yes would would things happen for you that wouldn't happen for you on your own mm -hmm. luke chapter 4 and then we see right in verse 1 luke chapter 4 verse 1 and jesus being full of the holy ghost did it say Jesus was full of himself <laughs> and Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost who is God by the way now he came upon Jesus returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness so now Jesus is walking and following the Holy Ghost right being 40 days tempted or tested is a better translation because he wasn't he wasn't tempted of the devil Ooh, the devil I'm tempted no he was being tested by the devil the devil wanted to see who this guy was are you the son of God have angels do something prove it to me because the, the devil didn't know everything and being 40 days tested of the devil and in those days he did eat nothing but after it ended he was hungered sure 
go down to verse 9 and he brought him to Jerusalem and set him on a pinnacle of the temple this is the pinnacle he brought him all the way up to the top of the temple you couldn't get any higher than that it's at the top of this temple set him at the pinnacle of the temple and said unto him if thou be the son of god cast thyself down from hence are you kidding me devil throw yourself off no but look and see why he says uh if thou be the son of god cast thyself down uh, for it is written he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee so he wanted to see if this jesus was in fact being at the pinnacle of the temple if he had in fact charge over angels that would protect him can you have angels that you are in charge over protecting you this is part of what it is like to be at the pinnacle all things working together for good for you is the pinnacle of greatness have you ever heard that before don't throw yourself off it's pretty easy to do don't throw yourself off stay there occupy that space Matthew chapter 4 we are in Luke chapter 4 Matthew chapter 4 adds a little something after that Matthew chapter 4 verse 11 then the devil leaves him and behold angels came and ministered unto him Jesus did not throw himself off the temple and the devil left and the angels did come that's the pinnacle of greatness say Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I, worship you. I worship you I thank you, I thank you. that you have brought me, you have brought me to, the to the pinnacle of greatness, of greatness. And, I and I will not throw myself off, throw myself off. And, I and I thank you that angels, that angels minister, to minister to me here, here. In, Jesus name. in Jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost Holy I worship you I thank you that all the riches and wealth in the earth belongs to you and therefore it comes to me in Jesus name Amen the Father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today